So what were the goals then with, with this rebrand? What were you looking to, to change or, or enhance? Um, I, I think the issue was really reintroducing the channel to the market and or, or introducing it because there mm -hmm. were there were people who I think uh, a group of people who followed the channel um, and it it, it, it kind of rose up in the ratings and then it had to cut back on its programming costs and mm -hmm. it disappointed a few people and we wanted to say look we're back we've got a massive new investment in programming and marketing and and, 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 and we're, we're relaunching the channel and, and, we're, and we're here again mm -hmm. and for, for the people who didn't know us uh, it's, just, it's just a question of reintroducing ourselves and I think it's just a question of updating the, the logo and modernizing it and I, I, you know, I'm a big fan of having a, a something that can be said very quickly and can be two things you look at TSN the sports network people know it is the sports network but it's also something you can say very quickly TSN right. so I liked what Brandworks came up with in the idea of, of that FN a stylized FN and um, and but also we are we're still the fight network and we'll still call ourselves the fight network a lot uh, but in some cases it's just easier whether it's on a program guide or whatever to just say FN or TFN if I'm an advertiser and I'm looking to, to sp spend some dollars with you what, what can you offer me that'll take those ad dollars farther what what kind of properties do you own what opportunities are there here uh, clearly, the starting point is we are going to be able to uh, integrate advertising across at least the three media that we have, or the four media that we have, uh, the Fan Expo, um, the, which is the point of sales, kind of grassroots marketing it, uh, thing. If you have a product, we can you know, have that product you know, in, in, the, in the room when thousands and thousands of people are, are there visiting the, the various booths. Obviously, the on-air, the online, and the mobile. Uh, will be sort of the, the, the other three pillars of that sort of four-legged four, four -legged stool. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where we are today. As we get into more video on demand, as we get into you know, potentially pay-per-view even, uh, and product, uh, we start doing our own uh, programming and, and we have product placement opportunities, product integration opportunities, um, that's where we're going to go. And so we'll be able to uh, say to an advertiser, you'll be everywhere. It'll be an integrated campaign. Uh, and we'll also uh, try to do some you know, co-sponsorship because we have you know, if we have um, uh, an e-commerce site, for example, we'll have relationships with retailers, and that's the integrated, you know, marketing model of today. That is just is just getting it going, and it's tough for some of the bigger media companies to do that because there's there's so many different silos to these companies. We're one brand, mm -hmm. and we can and we're small and we can, we're nimble and we are hungry. So we'll we'll take an advertiser and we'll work with them across all the different things we're doing, whether it's news, the reality programs we develop, the stuff we produce ourselves, or the, even stuff we commission from independent producers who are also willing to work with uh, advertisers on that. Do you think that it's a it's a, perhaps a harder sell? To, to offer that that audience to an advertiser, given that you know it's called fight, there, there, there is possibly a violent connotation here. It, is it an uphill battle with advertisers selling this audience? I think it was, but I think it's just a question of education. I think yeah. it comes back to saying uh, to advertisers, you know, it's providing the right research and, and it's there because it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't about uh, this isn't watched by a bunch of uh, thugs who just want to kill each other mm -hmm. uh, and watch other people kill each other. This channel is watched by people who uh, have a certain kind of mindset to themselves and they're, 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 whether they're high achievers or they, um, they enjoy um, uh, a certain kind of lifestyle, as I say, whether it's a healthy lifestyle, a fitness-based lifestyle, um, this, this is a sports channel for people who like this as a sport. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why it's called you know, martial arts or mixed martial arts. There, there's a, there's, it's not just pounding each other and, and, and blood and um, you know that, that that's the outcome potentially for a few seconds after you know a six-month training regimen right. uh, and so this did, again I think the advertisers in, you know in the last um, you know two months alone we've signed up about 15 new advertisers who are mainstream and who have come to realize that this you know the people who are watching this channel are the kind of people they want to reach yeah. sports media has really ramped up its coverage of this space uh, I'm assuming that the, the rebranding is in part part of kind of a strategy to distinguish Fight Network from the other sports media. Can you, can you talk a little bit about what your strategy is for, for mm -hmm. telling people what's unique about this channel? Why should it, they should watch you? Well, yeah, I, I, there's, there's no doubt what you're saying is correct. What we're trying to do is become more than just a TV channel. We, we, we are trying to represent a culture and a community that exists out there. Um, and uh, you know you can call it Fight Nation, you can call it whatever you want, but um, it, there there are a group of people who like this and they like this exclusively, um, and they're, they 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 are um, you know people use the word psychographic, whatever you want to say. They live a certain lifestyle, and the sports the other sports channels will have you know uh, fighting on it. There's no doubt about it. Um, but this this channel represents fighting, and it represents 
fighters, and we, you know, we and it's, it represents the, the fight news cycle, and also the fight lifestyle. And the fight lifestyle is is a certain kind of way you live, a certain kind of uh, discipline and a focus that you, you typically have as someone who trains and goes to a gym and says, you know, I'm not going to that party tonight. I'll, I'll go out tomorrow night, but I, because it's you know tonight's my training night. Mm-hmm. And and these kind of people, there's, you know, there's a group of people out there that, that they you know they live this way. And this channel wants you know we strive to be the home. For, for those people. They might watch, um, as I say, fighting on other channels, but we're their home. That's Leonard Asper from The Fight Network. Thank you very much.